What kind of motherfucker are you? Kind of sounds like a crazy question, doesn't it? So, once again, uh, we've reached that time of year where you've got all kinds of content creators coming up with all kinds of quote-unquote useful information telling us all what we need to do in our lives to be best prepared. And I always get a chuckle at this because there is no way to be able to accurately do that um, when it comes to other people because you don't know their situation. You have no idea what may be the number one important thing on your list for preparedness isn't necessarily going to be the number one thing on my list for preparedness. And what dictates that is what kind of a motherfucker we are. It's a serious question. Am I a frontline combat motherfucker? No, nah, not even a little bit. Have I ever been a frontline combat motherfucker? That would be an understatement. I'd never served for the military or anything else uh, of that nature. Um, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean that there's not motherfucker positions available for somebody that isn't part of the government, the government. So yeah, I've been that motherfucker before. But uh, because of my health issues, I am not that motherfucker today. So to tell me that in order for me to be a, a full-fledged motherfucker, that exercise is, is on the menu, isn't necessarily true. I'm not that motherfucker. I'm a different motherfucker. So the motherfucker that I am today is largely one that oversees a bunch of other motherfuckers. And being able to quickly and strategically place those motherfuckers in the right place at the motherfucking right time. I really should have had Samuel L. Jackson here, but uh, he couldn't make it short notice. But you need to define exactly what kind of motherfucker you are. And then you need to build your preparedness plan around that motherfucker. Not that motherfucker over there, or that motherfucker over there. No, following them ain't going to do you so well because they're a different kind of motherfucker. So it's imperative that you define what motherfucker you are. And then when you do, turn off the fucking YouTube channels because there are a bunch of motherfuckers that are out there for one thing and that's money some type of, of personal gain. Maybe it's not money. May, maybe they're just an egotist and they, they get a kick out of watching everybody follow them around like a Pied Piper. Don't be that kind of motherfucker. That's not a good kind of motherfucker. Whatever kind of motherfucker you choose to be, choose to do that job well. Learn to be the best motherfucker of those particular motherfuckers that you could possibly be. I mean that. Constant videos from prepping channels about what we need to do. How we need to live. What it is that's a must for our survival. And I always get a kick out of the physical health ones because some people don't have that choice anymore. And it almost seems like these individuals expect motherfuckers like us just to sit it out. Nah, that's not the case. And in fact, being physically incapable doesn't make me any less lethal. In fact, honestly, it pretty much seals my enemy's fate if they come at me. Because, see, I can't wrestle around and throw punches anymore. I'm not that motherfucker anymore. 
but I am a really good shot. And I really like high-tech automated gadgets. That's the kind of motherfucker I am. You need to decide what kind of motherfucker you are and put everything you can into it. Myself, I try to have a healthy dose of technology in with just common sense. You know, anybody can be a true motherfucker. You just got to learn what motherfucker you are And how to be the best motherfucker of those motherfuckers that you possibly can be. You're not going to find that out. By listening to YouTube prepping channels. That's something that only you can answer for yourself. In closing I'll just say go out there. And be the best motherfucker you can be. Shalom.